Hello Stamper, welcome to Francie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today I'm going to show you how uh, to do the technique thumping. I did that many years ago, but um, it was on red rubber. I was not sure if it would work on photopolymer, and it is. Because sometimes photopolymer uh, stamping with markers, it's a little bit different. So um, we're going to use the Dragonfly Dream. And let's get started. So I'm using uh, the Regal uh, family here, and we're going to be using Inland Indigo, Crush Curry, and very little of the Garden Green. And I try different way. I try stamping the full image first in the Crush Curry, and it's too much of the yellow, and uh, I'm losing a bit of the thumping technique. And ears are too um other one that i did here and one thing that you're going to notice it doesn't matter how many you're going to do they're going to look all look different you always want to start with the lightest color so in this case it's going to be the yellow you want to take the brush side you get the writing tip and the brush tip you want to start with the brush tip and really you're going to be playing drums <laughs> It's, you see why we get the name thumping? Because you're just going to thump. And the first one, the yellow one, the lightest one, that one I want quite a bit more than any of the other color. I'm not doing the body of the dragonfly because that I want um, all in the blue, in the inland indigo. Uh, if some go on it, don't worry, that's part of it. Now we're going to close this. The green, I just want a tiny little bit because what happened with green, I mean yellow and uh, blue get green. So I just want a little bit of the green. See, I just going to tap a little bit just to say I get a bit of green in there. Now the yellow, we're going to, and I want more yellow on the outside than in. So I'm going to go more heavy on the outside. So it's no right and wrong. Just a bit here. Um, just stump. Sometimes you're going to have part of the stamp that will not stamp because you didn't thump on it. That's just part of this technique here. Now I'm going to take my brush here and do my body. Here we go. Now I'm going to use a piece of scrap paper and what you want to do is wipe your marker. See I get some bluish and green in that. So you just want to uh, brush your um, marker on a piece of scrap paper. Now we're going to bring a paper. You're going to have to off on this. <sighs> that means take your breath and just push, uh, put your hot breath on uh, your stamp. The reason why it's because by the time you're done thumping, a lot of the ink it's already dry. So that's going to moist the ink again. Here we go. A good impression. We're going to peel that up. Voila! Is that cool? So this is how I done the thumping. So um, I used the oval framelits and I did uh, the scallop in here and then the bigger one in inland indigo the honeycomb uh, embossing folder here it's a little sneak peek of what's coming up on june uh, 1st it's the new enamel dots with glitter it's going to be one of the embellishment that i'm going to use a lot um they're very flat i mean raise a little bit but they're going to be friendly to mail and the sweet part about that, they're ombre, so you see they go lighter and lighter. So this is it, my friend, for this thumping technique. And this is part of a blog up. So click above in the high, that's going to bring you to my blog uh, post. And then you can take uh, the blog up, so see many different cards with this technique. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy stamping, my friend. Bye-bye for now.